Hello everyone and welcome back to Boater Plays Something. We are playing The Outer Worlds, previously broadcast on The Citadel over at Insane Games TV. If you're interested in that channel, you can check it out in the description below. But in the meantime, let's play something. Start game with this character, you know it, betch. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. So I like that thousands of people to choose from, and he more or less put in his search parameters, and I happen to meet it. Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. Lost battery power back now. Okay. Welcome back. Yeah. Basically, there's so many people to choose from. He picked me. Very excited for this buddy cop comedy. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your ah! Ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. It's supposed Normally, to be Ted. <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. That still sounds horrible. Wrong? Oh, yes. Well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yeah? That sounds awesome. I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colleagues. We should have taken a point out of intelligence. I'd seized on myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is like you. inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Uh, what? Am I not gonna hang out with you? Oh! Whee! You seem to be awake, so it seems like it's working. Oh yeah, absolutely. This is a very short buddy cop comedy. <laughs> Game is still a little quiet. Duly noted, I'll boost it in a second. Um, once I get to a point where I don't feel like I'm going to miss a cutscene by getting up, I will boost the game's audio Can just a bit. Is this thing working? Ah. There you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, a smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you. I just don't want it to percent. drown me out, but he yeah. He to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. Ooh, I've also fun. outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... All the colonists are counting on you. Cool, Captain Mel. I mean, there's a lot pulled from Firefly as well as, like, as far as aesthetic and stuff go and a fair amount of references. So, yeah, you know, that kind of thing. I'm going to try not to spoil too much. I have played once before, but it's been a little while. should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. 
I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Um. Hawthorne okay. You taking his ship? Better you than the board, huh? Not okay. Sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Yeah. Um. What's this about a bounty on your head? Bear right back. Uh, yep, he got squished. He stood there holding the beacon, and then he got squished because he a burning thing came down, and he didn't get out of the way. Like a silly. <sighs> What's this? Hi, you look cuddly. I want to play with you. This is pretty. This is very pretty. Sneaking, use tall grass rocks and other cover to hide from enemies. Use a sneak past enemies or sneak up on them to initiate combat. Ah. Awareness meters over enemy heads tell you if they are unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Yeah, everything moves slow for a second there, Doc. Ow. That sucks. Use the emergency medicinal inhaler to heal. Each activation consumes one Adreno. Okay. Hey. Hey, you. Come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Well, you just hold on now. I have some medical expertise from all the drugs I've done, so you just sit still and I'll patch you right up. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Does that thingy eat leggies? Probably. Uh, let's see here. Spacers what? Oh, we're all part of the Spacers Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. He Thought I could take smolders. him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Uh, back up a little bit. What was this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hullhead grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Um, so I like this. Like, I'm going to have some persuade, lie, and intimidate just by default of the game, but it sets me up with having one, at least one of each, so that I can get past this using one of the conversation um, skills. Of course, I forget what I have the highest of, but 
things will show when they're available. So what do we go with? Give me your gun is a good one. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. Someone gone to their ship illegally? I'll hunt them down for you. What do we go with here, and how do we... Because I can't wait on every single dialogue response. Like, what's some guidance on how we want to try to play this? So do we just go with what sounds natural for the voice? And also, roughing up some dudes while still in a mascot costume. Did I mention I was still in costume when I messed that guy up by the dumpsters? Oh, it was a good time. Did I tell you I killed him? I just said I messed him up. You're like an idiot or something. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. Yeah, you sound a lot like my lieutenant. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Can you, like, tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous Saltuna. Do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Oh, I'd like to fraternize with you. Anyway, I'm off. Oh, I have a gun now. So... Damn it, my ears! Oh, what a That's what you get for listening. Can you hear me? What in the... This... <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you guys are okay. I didn't want to hurt any of you in that explosion. Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly, while moving and attacks drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Tactical time dilation, right bumper. Okay, there's a dude. That's fun. Double click jump. Nice. Pick up bunch of nanners. A mock apple. Mag picks. Fish sticks. Okay, do I need to, like, loot the bodies? Yes. Bit cartridge, light ammo, light pistol. Take all. Where'd the other one go? Here we go. Corpses and containers hold items you can take. Okay, D-pad to switch around. Oh, is that? Yep. Oh, how do I reload? X? Yes. Okay, good. Stop moving! I want to shoot you. Ow! 
Ow! The hell? Wow. Owies. I hope something saved. Some autosave along there somewhere. Also, we're playing on hard difficulty should I bump it down to normal. Better than nature. Anti-Cleos. <sighs> oh my gosh. Loading screens. Why are they so long? Ah. Uh... Oh my god, really? Hold up. Did it not autosave that? Are you kidding me? What are you doing? Okay, autosave. Stacy. Thank you. Oh my god. Like, why did it load the save that I last played two years ago where I was maxed out level with companions and stuff? First thing we're going to do is manually save. Then I might bump the combat difficulty to normal because we're going to have enough of a hard time with all this. Yep, we got that a little bit. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Yep. Then we health, then we talk to this guy. Hey, you. You've tried the best now. Huh. Looks like... Hope you don't mind me. We were out and... Then... Just... Be You edge Okay, cool. Do all that same stuff. Oh, shoot that. Damn it, my ears! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the this Kendra Buginis is your female name. Yeah, I figured I'd, like, make up a, a far future descendant, and I started off with making someone that kind of looked like me, and then I gave them the same gold makeup, so. Okay, manually save the game. Ah, I don't know how to switch to melee. I don't know how to switch weapons. Ow. That's fire. Okay, so that was something I forgot to grab before. That's like a bin that I could open up because I had a lot of skill with something. Just grab a lot of stuff. Let's see, where, where was the body that was over here? Is he... I grabbed that, and I think I grabbed the other one too. Yep, okay, how do I switch weapons? Okay. X puts my weapon away. Just holding down Y it seems to switch weapons, but when someone comes up to melee me a whole bunch... Oh, not what I meant to do. Not what I meant to do. Time dilation. What? 
Ow. There you are. Hi. Okay, we're going to be using time dilation a lot. Do I think we have a little bit of base health regeneration. Let's take everything there. I think there's still one more body around here, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Moving on. Yeah, I think we're getting a little bit of health regeneration over time. So we'll keep our... Uh, we have eight health regens right now, so we'll hold on to that. Oh, cool. My health bar and my TTD bar and my experience bar. Oh, no, the experience bar is fine. The others are totally blocked by the Citadel top bar. That's great. Hey, look, a ship. Hey, get over here before you get yourself killed. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Let's see here. I've already dealt with a few of these marauders. Not impressed. You pulling my limb? I, I mean, yeah, of course. Marauders. Bunch of addle brain derelicts. I could round them up all by myself. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. So, that shows that since I only have a Persuade of three, I can't say, do Space's Choice Guards back down from a challenge? I bet you could get those Marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. I guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. Oh my god, no! You sit tight, I'll handle it, or coward, I'll do it myself. How much do we lean into already being a part of that corporate culture? That's a that's a big thing. Like, do we play the I'm outside of all this bureaucracy and stuff? Or should we just lean in and go Karen on it? What would Stacy do? W W S D. What would Stacy do? Like a Stacy's gonna have to give you a zero on the customer satisfaction survey. Seriously? But those marauders will Ugh. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. You and go girl. Fucking laminated. Yes, Queen! Here we go. Wow, he dropped really fast. You're not so bad, Lieutenant Mercer. That was good, actually. That was nice. And you thought you couldn't take them. You're a bad bitch. For a moment, I was like, did you change your hair? No, we're not really going to see ourselves in conversation, unlike uh, like Dragon Age. It doesn't go out to, you know, anything cinematic. It's just always from the first-person perspective. This is going to take a lot of paperwork. Oh, sweet. We can just walk right in. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Welcome aboard Apex Transport, Triangulum Colony 2325. Smile surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. The Unreliable. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. 
I'm gonna look around the rest of the ship, then I'll come back and talk to the AI. Intruders are not authorized to access the unreliable amenities. Marauder, Weapon parts. Please be informed shotgun. that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just um. Uh, differently prioritizing. <gasps> Tossball stick. Yes. Makes me feel like I'm right back home. There was a bug, and I don't know if it's been corrected, where if you go into a conversation while someone's on a ladder, they will just keep climbing up through the level, and then when you exit the conversation, they drop to their death. They don't actually die, but a flag goes off, and you can't complete Please the mission be for them. That using the respecification machine will not make you a better person. Could use that to change our uh, stats around a little bit. Marauder, um, please be informed that the engine room contains nothing of value. Yeah, I imagine it's been fixed now. Like, your party mate didn't actually die, but I, I was unable to complete a party member mission until I, like, reloaded to before that happened. All doors are on security lockdown. Nice try, Marauder. Yeah, this Marauder thing is getting real old. I'm gonna steal your algae logger. I don't even like the stuff. The shit's gross. Marauder, please be informed. The ship has no crew for you to murder. I guess we'll go talk with this AI now. I was just looking around. This is a nice ship you got here. I mean, all the doors are closed, but still. Lacrosse tended to be played, I noticed, in schools that had a little bit more money. So Stacy went to a well-off school. Should have spelled it Stacy. <laughs> no, I like the IE. Uh, like the 13 is a nice subtle, like, unlucky. Algae water is if you choose kombucha. Kombucha is the presence algae water. Um, it may have been regional. I know that my school had lacrosse. Well, not that I didn't go to it. I didn't go to a rich school by any means, but it wasn't a poor school. But it's also, it might have something to do with lacrosse's roots in the area I grew up as a native sport. And then just kind of, you know, appropriated by the white Back man. Away from the navigation console, intruder. So both my high school and my college both had lacrosse. Although in college, it, was, it wasn't a, like it was a club and not like a full-on sports team, but still. I went to a noticeably poorer school in Massachusetts before I moved to New York. Uh, we did not have lacrosse, but it may also be regional. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I don't appreciate being talked about that way, but what are you gonna do? Self destruct? Uh oh, she's angry! Um, is something supposed to be happening? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Is it, does this AI purposely look like you? No, this is um, what the AI always looks like. So I need to get the ship in the air. Can you help? Uh, can you help a sister out? I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. So. He, um, it would be really hard to bring the captain here, cause he's dead, I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Uh, 
I feel like Stacy would say this. No, I'm not going to get locked out of the ship. I know that, at least from a gameplay perspective. Like, okay, but I'm not Hawthorne. He's dead. And, like, gross. I understand. You are speaking metaphorically. You wandered outside this ship and experienced a permanent, life-changing encounter. The old you is dead. Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. I extend felicitations and congratulations on your life-changing experience. Am I Captain Hawthorne? Oh my gosh, I might be Captain Hawthorne. Like, I'm Stacy, but I'm also Alex Hawthorne? Yeah, like... Or maybe he died so I can live, so... Maybe... He became Stacy, and then Stacy became him. I don't know. That sounds great. Our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. So I don't think we're going to find a part like that just sitting in a garage. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable? Oh my god, I love it. Oh shit, I keep dropping the controller just a little bit. This battery door is so bad. I just touch it to the desk and it just drops right out. Oh, well, that's why it's missing one of the tabs that keeps it together. I need to get one of the regular controller ones. That's why that keeps breaking. I get it. I have to, like, tape in the batteries or something. It's me. Captain Hathorne of the Unreliable. Oh my god, yes, I love it. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. No promises! Oh my gosh, and we leveled. Anti-Cleo management training. Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill, melee, improves all of the specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description and see what they are. Armor, consumables, and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks and the skill's passive bonuses, but won't give or take away the skill unlocks. Work diligently, improve yourself, and you too can achieve middle management. You've been promoted. Level up. Congratulations, you have gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, and as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling, and you'll be upper management material in no time! Okay, um... Let's see, what do we start to put things into? So... Medical, we see 19 in gray and then 24 in green. It means our base skill level is 19, but we're getting a plus 5. And here we see it's because of the hibernation suit. Um, we can tinker. Break down weapons and armor. We can field repair. That's nice. 
companion abilities. Our ranged is doing pretty good. Dodge is good. Dialogue. Let's throw a couple into stealth. Um, defense. Tech. Leadership. We're going to want to throw some into leadership, I think, because... Um, having companions. Throw a little bit into there. A little more into dialogue. TNL Weapon Safety Training. Weapon Management. You can have to, up to four weapons equipped at a time by navigating to the weapon, then selecting the weapon slot at the top of the screen. On this page, you can also inspect your weapon, compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. Players with the engineering skill can repair weapons at this screen as well. Take care of your TNL weapons, and they'll take care of your enemies. Item Repair. Keeping your company gear in tip-top shape is expected, and something you're carrying needs repair. You can repair weapons and armor at a workbench using weapon and armor parts. Get them from breaking down unweapon, unneeded, unwanted items. <laughs> Players with the engineering skill can repair their gear without need of a workbench. Repairing an item returns it to 100% durability and full effectiveness, ready to cause or prevent maximum damage. Keep your office equipment in tip-top shape for superior company efficiency. Okay, so I actually wanted to do this. Anti-Cleo Specialized Management Seminars. Select and Perks. Welcome to Perk Selection. On this screen, you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk point every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as by accepting a flaw. Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. Okay, perks. Toughness, plus 50% base health. More tactical time dilation for slow the world. Lone wolf, more damage when alone in the party. Strider, plus 25% walk speed. Cheetah, plus 20% sprint speed. High maintenance, lower weapon and armor durability loss. Precision, higher companion crit chance. Resilient, plus to base armor rating. A few bits more, additional ammo in stock and as well as consumable in general stock. Pack Mule, plus to carrying capacity. Quick and the Dead, your tactical time dilation recharges much faster. We're going to be using that a lot, so we'll probably do that. Um, unlock the ability to fast travel when encumbered. Plus 50% XP from companion kills. No! Oh, no! Oh, no! I didn't want to do that. There's 20% vendor prices. Let's go with the time dilation for now. Details, reputation. Um, let me see here. Inventory. Journal. Alright, cool. So inventory. Let's see what we got. What needs repair? This needs repair. There is a light pistol. Spacey's choice. Any duplicates we're just going to get rid of. Sentry Saber, 73. That one has a little diamond on it. What's that do? Special effect. Bleed. 73 DPS. What's the difference? Why does it have a diamond? Is it just going to get me more cell value? Oh, it's pristine. Probably cell value. Sawed off shotgun. Alright. Um, equip that. As well as the toss ball stick. Armored ballistics will keep your skin intact. Armor management. To wear an ar armor or helmet item, navigate to the item and then select it. You can also manage your armor here. Uh, manage your armor here. Break them down, inspect them, compare to other armor, tag them as junk, or drop them. Alright, cool. We got a helmet.
Um, we can add consumables. Not going to worry about that right now. Modifications, mag picks, weapon parts, captain's identification, and some junk. Let's add that to junk as well. Just so that when we sell all junk, boom, there we go. We need to find a power regulator. All right. I assume we can look through the rest of the ship now. Captain's quarters. Due to catastrophic power failure, oh. all doors will remain on security lockdown. Okay. Let's see if the lieutenant's still out here and is like, "Oh, this is your ship." It is now. I claim slaver. Right. Say, uh, this slaver? wouldn't happen to be your ship. No, salvage. It? Oh my god. You sure walk I can't in say it like words. It was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. So, y you got it all wrong. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Take care. Okay, so let's see here. That looks like Edgewater. 